To the quick action of two other hunters. It's all on Grand Lake. Only on two news reporter Dan Perlman introduces us to the men many are calling lifesavers. Early Saturday morning, Curtis Tate and Winston Connor were setting up for a day at the lake. Then we heard some screaming and I yelled at Winston asking if he heard that and he said, yeah, I did. And I said, did that sound bad to you too? And he said, oh, it sounded real bad. What was odd about it is that there were two different voices making one syllable sound. We decided the thing to do was to jump in the boat, go around and make sure things were okay. They weren't. The boat Harvey Irwin and Josh Pridemore were on capsized. They just didn't have enough boat for the conditions that day. Pridemore made it to the shore. Irwin was stuck holding onto his boat in 41 degree water. The temperature outside 15 degrees. His legs stopped working. So these two hunters held him over the side of their boat, slowly pulling him to shore. Then his eyes started to close. We actually asked him, you know, I was talking to him. I said, man, where are you from? Don't go to sleep. And he's like, man, I'm not going to sleep. I got a wife and a kid. And Winston and I both, I know that hit us deep. That just made me grip harder. And they made it. Tonight, all are safe. Both of us, and we've talked about this a lot, are having a hard time understanding this hero concept because you know, we didn't put our life or limb at liberty. Um, we didn't do anything anybody else wouldn't have done. Uh, there's somebody in 41 degree water and they're going to die if you don't take them out. Uh, what else can you do? One of the most touching things for me, and I know for Curtis as well, is seeing him and the other guy and their families and uh, I can't get out of my mind the picture of him and his wife and his child and another picture he had of his child with a duck call uh, set around it. I mean, seeing that, knowing he got to return back to him and hopefully one day can teach him to not have that happen, it, it made it all worth it. On Grand Lake, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. Definitely heroic action, and both men who fell overboard told paramedics they didn't need medical attention, and at last check, they're doing just fine. Medical